Hello, this is Jeff, Director of Pro Governance Intelligence. Pro Governance Intelligence has 16 years experience in essential safety measures management and assessment. Please let me take you on a short journey for 10 minutes to explain the recent changes to annual certification requirements for commercial buildings in Victoria and how they may affect your organisation. Let Pro Governance Intelligence assist your organisation with reliable, compliance services to mitigate your risk. In Victoria, building owners are required annually to issue an annual essential safety measures report. This is for all buildings from class 1B to class 9C. This means all commercial, residential and industrial buildings except single occupancy homes, which are class 1A, or non-habitable structures such as Class 10, which are excluded. It is a requirement to comply with the laws of Victoria, however the process to achieving compliance with the law may have some disrupting factors your organisation may not have the capacity to manage effectively. The pathway should be fairly simple by following the blue tiles indicated on the slide to reach the landing point of issue of a compliant Annual Essential Safety Measures Report. In reality, there may be a number of disruptors in the literal sense that expose your organisation to risk. On the slide, the yellow pointers indicate some of those disruptors. Occupier non-compliance, legal responsibility through leases, management of occupancy and illegal alterations and defect mitigation versus prioritisation. Who has budget? Who has responsibility? Pro Governance Intelligence has the systems and expertise to deal with the whole certification process to mitigate your organisation's risk. Pro Governance Intelligence will implement a fundamental methodology that is simple yet reliable. We start with the two major streams, the Built Asset and the Building Regulations 2018 Approval Documentation. Pro Governance Intelligence will verify service providers ensuring their performance in accordance with relevant Australian standards and the performance requirements of your occupancy permits and maintenance determinations. The third step will be to create a yearly condition survey report which provides information relating to the functional testing, service routines and the current condition with risk assessment in accordance with ISO 31000. Eventually, the translation to the fully compliant Annual Essential Safety Measures Report will be completed and fully validated. The owner or agent's responsibility in Victoria fundamentally is that each essential safety measure is operating at the required level of performance and has been maintained in accordance with the relevant occupancy permit or maintenance determination. The key to this is that will it fulfil its purpose? This is a primary element of the Building Act and the Building Regulations in terms of the intent for essential safety measures legislation. Similarly, service providers have a responsibility to demonstrate the fire systems or essential safety measures installed in the building are achieving a standard of performance which they were designed, the approved design. In the next series of slides, I'm going to break down the elements of the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report in accordance with the current regulations 2018.
The Building Regulations 2018 are subordinate to the Building Act 1993. Regulations 223 and 224 specify the format and the information required in an Annual Essential Safety Measures Report. The first part of the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report has a table which requires certain information relating to the approval and subsequent alterations to a building. Things like the address, the part of the building that was subject to a building permit, the classification under the National Construction Code and the details of the occupancy permit including the relevant building surveyor and their registration details. One of the major changes to the Building Regulations 2018 was to incorporate a statement relating to the implementation of AS 1851 2012. Under the current legislation, there is an opportunity to change all maintenance standards to the current AS 1851 version. There is no requirement to seek advice or approval to undertake this. However, we must include the statement above on the slide in the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report to be able to do this. Again, there is a table dominating all essential safety measures, the current performance requirements indicated on the occupancy permit, and indication of whether or not the AS 1851 2012 version of the maintenance standard has been adopted for the particular building. It is a requirement of the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report to table the maintenance personnel details. That is, the companies or the people that are undertaking the routine servicing of the essential safety measures within your buildings. This requires a name of a technician or at least a service manager relating to the company, the name of the company and the specific details referenced on the occupancy permit of the essential safety measures. All safety measures must be nominated on the annual essential safety measures report. Part B of the annual essential safety measures report refers to inspections made in accordance with Part 227E of the Building Act 1993. Part 227E legislates the powers of inspection by the Chief Officer of the Fire Brigade, a Municipal Building Surveyor, or in some cases, Officers of the Victorian Building Authority. Tabled in the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report must be a summary of any notices issued in the previous 12 months pursuant to Part 227E. This will include building notices, building orders, emergency orders, improvement notices in the form of order for minor works, etc. A completion status is required to be included in the table. Part C of the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report is a statement by owner. The report is required to be issued 28 days before each anniversary date of first occupancy permit that was issued in relation to the building. If there is no occupancy permit issued for the building, which would have been instructed pre-1994, the 13th of June becomes a default anniversary date. The statement requires the owner or the representative of the owner to make an undertaking that all essential safety measures have been maintained in accordance with the requirements of the occupancy permit and are also maintained in a condition that will allow them to fulfil their purpose. The note on the final slide of the Annual Essential Safety Measures Report outline the penalties for non-compliance with the law and a number of conditions that are required to be followed in terms of the occupancy of buildings, referencing various legislative clauses.
Does your organisation need assistance to achieve annual essential safety measures compliance and mitigate the associated risks? Does your organisation want the reports and data exactly how it suits you and not us? Pro Governance Intelligence is agile and committed to customising all services to our clients' requirements. Pro Governance Intelligence can issue your annual essential safety measures reports on time and fully validated. We can provide on-site essential safety measures auditing and condition assessments, incorporating ISO 31000 risk assessment methodology and assess your management resourcing effectiveness. Additionally, we can provide analysis of your current routine servicing programs and contractor performance. Provide customised tender specifications, all available to you in a cloud-based secure document storage portal. I truly hope you enjoyed this presentation. Please call me at Pro Governance Intelligence for a free consultation on your portfolio certification and assessment requirements.